Hello everyone and welcome to my next video for the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, where I'm going to be taking on the Red-Headed Turk level 180 Chaos Challenge quest, and for this I'm bringing a party of Lightning, Rosa and Leo uh, with a Remove Summon. So I was a little bit on the fence about this one to be honest, because I did indeed pull for Reno, and as you can see I have a perfectly functional Reno who is fully maxed out and I could very much use him in this, and it is highly recommended that you do so because it will make your life exponentially easier. Um, however, I decided I, I was I do actually have a video recorded where I did the challenge quest with Reno uh, and I was really considering posting this but it's pretty much the same thing as the one as the Lufenia that I did with Gladio except instead of having Gladio tank the mist attacks you're having Reno do it instead um, using his pyramid to deny the enemies from doing any damage you get four pyramids and because lightning is an absolute goddess of turn rate and, and damage and just general awesomeness um, you're pretty much not going to have a problem bullying the bosses to the point that you can fall Force them into mist mode every time before you use pyramid and then you're just going to be completely fine and not have too much of a problem especially if you've got lightning's burst weapon the extra ld use uh, and the turn advantage that you get from the burst like the damage lead that you get uh, really really helps uh, however i decided not to do that because that doesn't really help anyone and if anyone is having difficulty completing this challenge quest they are probably using this team because if you have reno then you can use Pyramid and deny the, uh, the the tree bosses from doing their bullshit mist attack. And if you have Camelot, you can do the same thing, albeit with either an RNG chance or like one at a time. Because you have to use Glacification, so you're probably going to get one of their health below the threshold and paralyze it. And then you're probably going to rotate onto the other target and paralyze that one. But basically being able to, to, to have them in mist mode and have them skip their turn um, is extremely, extremely helpful. Um, in order to not die. Um, however, we don't have any of that in this team. We only have Rosa and Leo, and it is very, very likely that we're going to eat at least one death and get a re-raise thanks, uh, thanks to Rosa. So that's why I've actually decided to bring out Remu as a summon, uh, because actually, you know what? I'm not, I'm not actually going to use Remu. I'm going to use Shiva, because we just we want to try and get as much for... Actually, am I going to use it? Or am I going to use Leviathan? I'm actually not sure what summon I'm going to use here. I don't know what would be best. Um, because I don't know if the 40% defense is going to be a meme, because after a certain point the enemies become so strong that they're going to one-shot you, but you can actually tank one or two attacks. So you know what, I'm actually going to bring Remove for this, because we can use the Max Bravery, and because Lightning imperils Lightning, so uh, during the summon phase we might be able to eke out a little bit of extra damage. I've got the Penelo Call ability because we do have a HP requirement to be careful of, uh, and she does like have everyone regen health, um, when you use it, as well as Bravery Regen, it's, it's a pretty nice call actually, as far as early calls go, you know, before the LDs. So I'm going to be using this team, and we're going to be going in and seeing if we can wreak some havoc. Uh, but before we do, I will just quickly go over my artifacts, my Lightning is rocking the 108 330s, my Rosa is on two 108s and one 330 because I don't have enough CP to, um, to equip all of the other passives, and my uh, Leo is on triple 108 Mighty Master Blade. Um, I have made sure to equip all of my HP and defense passives before starting this just for that extra little bit of, uh, of advantage in terms of not dying, hopefully, to the bosses. Uh, so let's jump into it and uh, basically just kind of pray for the, uh, for, for, for the best, yeah? Uh, okay, so I don't particularly want to use much of Leo's Master Blades here, um, so I am just going to use his skill 1. And then, of course, with Lightning, I'm going to be attacking the same target because we want to try and focus on the one target. This has one good thing about uh, Leo's Breakthrough Point debuff is that it really increases single target damage by an, an unreasonable amount. Uh, and because I'm going to be using her LD anyway, I'll just do this to break it. Yeah, there we go. Very, yeah, very nice. Oh my god, I haven't used Rosa in forever and a day. And she used to be so good. I mean, she's still... The problem with Rosa now is that um, the main appeal for bringing Rosa to anything was her auras. Um, like, you don't, you don't really use Rosa outside of her auras because her healing alone is not really very strong. Um, and I think there's a trend of most people that were disappointed in Rosa, like people who say that Ishtolo is better, for instance. Um, I think they were expecting Rosa to play more of a healer role, 
and she just doesn't. Like, her HP regen is really weak, that's why I've put the spear on her so that she gets even more regen, because she, you know, Lord knows that she desperately needs the help. Um, she's really there for auras. Um, however, like, at this point, there are characters that do what she does, um, as as well as, if not better, than she does it, because there are tons of characters with incredibly powerful auras, but they have much, much higher damage output than... Uh, than Rosa does, so her time in the sun is pretty much finished at this point, unfortunately. But I am looking forward to her LD weapon on the uh, on the Japanese version. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what they do to uh, to bring her back into uh, into into relevance again. Because I do kind of like her. In fact, arguably, I like her more in this game than I do in FF4. But um, I don't dislike her in FF4 either. Um, in fact, how common is it that a Final Fantasy character? has like an established relationship, you know, like a, like an, an actual loving wife. No, not, I mean, yeah. Was she, was she his wife? I can't remember. Either that or just his girlfriend, but they were together. And they did eventually have a son together, you know. That's like, that's pretty much as canon as it gets in the, in the FF universe. Not talking about, um, not talking about Wacker and, uh, and Lulu in, uh, in 10-2, but anyway. There we go. We are out of this wave. And on to the wave of waves. The nightmare begins. Here we go with the uh, with the bosses. Okay, so we're immediately in, uh, in Ravager stance. And I have not noticed that my frame buff has dropped off, which means we have to use the X immediately. Get those delays going on. Oh goodness. Oh this is a little bit um this is a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use this. Swap over to B so I can delete I can yeet B out of the way with Leo. And then Rosa can do this. And then lightning can break reset on this one. And do a HP attack. Into an LD. Excellent. Oh god. I mean, this is not quite ideal. It really isn't. Because A is probably going to take a turn. Um, and attack Leo. And A is taking a turn without the mist up, so that means that A is probably going to have to be the enemy that we kill first because we don't want it to, uh, to to get his recast off. So I'm just going to pop uh, Rose's additional ability here and then go into uh, EX. And this should knock um, the one on the left under... Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, that is so unlucky that this didn't go to 79%. That would have been perfect. Um, but yeah, I was hoping that the battery from the EX would be enough so that Lightning doesn't get broken, because here we'll see that Lightning is going to take some damage and almost die. But Lightning has the most health out of everyone, so we are actually completely fine. Go. And here's a little known fact about Army of One, it does actually heal you. You just basically never get to see it do that because Honestly, when do you ever get damaged as lightning when you're actually playing a, playing a quest? It just it, it doesn't really happen, does it? Let's keep the bravery gen buff going. Stop it. 
Let's not worry too much about Lightning's health. She will have a chance to recuperate. And she's not being targeted by either of them right now. So we're actually completely fine in that respect. Because even if they go below that certain HP threshold, they're not they're not suddenly going to start getting targeted um, by the enemies. So I'll do this with Leo. That if I do a single Ravager attack, it's probably not going to break A. So I am actually just going to uh, spike strike here. I can do this because I have the luxury of doing so because I have the burst weapon. It's not as bad. And then I can do that. And I'm not gonna flourish of steel plus, I'm just gonna HP attack on B. Which is gonna knock B below the threshold as well. There we go. So now they're both in the uh, in the mist mode. Uh, I am going to literally pray with Rosa. I'm going to pray for dear life. We need to do that anyway, just in case one of them dies. Um, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna bravery attack with uh, with Leo. Because we need to get B's bravery down, and yep, yeah. yep. So Leo's dead. So that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> I told you, um, deaths are pretty much inevitable here to a certain degree. Especially as soon as we start taking damage, like this, is pretty much just um, it's just how it, it's just how it's gonna go. Um, and we also have to attack them like while they're in this kind of state. Um, yeah, to be honest, B is probably going to kill Rosa. In fact, B is almost certainly going to kill Rosa. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about this. I can see that B was almost about to recover. You know, because this is a chaos and because I have the burst weapon, I think I'm actually going to try and just keep them sort of keep them out of uh, out of the way and keep them delayed. Because it's pretty much impossible at this point for any of us to survive. We get hit with those things and we are actually just going to straight up die. So even though we're uh, dealing extremely reduced damage, I'm just going to rely on lightning to be pretty much the saviour of souls here. I don't know why I picked Remove Man. <laughs> Maybe just for a little bit of extra damage. Um, Alright, let's use a crystal 65 and let's get B out of the way because A can be broken by lightning. This gives lightning turn rate. Which it does indeed. And we can knock A away. So you pretty much have to attack them during the mist mode um, if you don't want to die in this. And even though we're dealing like lots of reduced damage, because it's a chaos, it's not as bad as if it would be um, as if it would be a, a Lufenia, you know? So when Lightning's uh, thing with me, Bobby, uh, when her LD effect gets really low, I'm probably just going to go into the burst mode and see what we if we can make some magic happen. 
Please get turn right lightning. I believe in you. No, lightning, I believed in you. Uh, apparently I was mistaken to, to do so. I know my EX is up, but um, it's a little bit more important right now that I, uh, that I do this. Just about to just straight up go into. Now I'm not gonna gonna go into the burst just yet. I'm gonna go into the summon just to buy a little bit of extra time. See how little damage Leo does without any sort of HP damage increase like Lightning's got? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. And we're breaking out of order too. This is just all sorts of horrible. So you know what? I'll do this with uh, with Rosa. And then with Lightning, I'm just going to do it like I'm just going to yeet me out of the way even further. There we go. Absolutely delightful. So what I'm aiming to do is I'm aiming to kill B first. And then we will just delay A to hell and back with Leo. Like I'm, tr I'm gonna try and kill B during the burst or like, you know, the closest thing to it. Leo Leo's aura is fine. You know, it's, it, it's, it's there. So here is where I'm going to pop um, Pinello's Call Effect so that we get the maximum regen possible during the burst. And I am, I am honestly just going to go for it. Um, yeah, let's, let's do it. Oh god, we really do nothing to that thing. Like, the HP damage reduction has gotten even worse. Like, honestly, without Lightning's Burst, if, like, without Lightning Burst, I'm not in, I'm not really sure how possible this is. So we did 26,000 to it there. K. Okay, so we do the same damage to both of them, which is like 70 percent. Oh, I see why. It's because my LD effect fell off. No wonder I'm doing no freaking damage. Uh, whoops. No, I, I just screwed myself out of a load of damage for no reason. Because I didn't have my LD effect up. That's, um, that's, that's a little bit unfortunate. Oh well. So I get to use the burst finisher on the one that's got Leo's debuff on, which is just going to help us do that much more damage and just hit like a truck, which is what we want because we want that thing to be dead as soon as possible. And we want to keep A out of the way as much as we can. And of course, Lightning's Burst effect also has a HP damage increase effect, which is super nice. Lightning just got her, um, she just got her EX charged, so I'm going to use this to refresh Leo's aura because we can actually delay A at this point. There we go. I heard the chime. Let's 
get a yeeted back there. And because lightning is so ridiculous, she should still deal pretty much almost max damage to uh, to B anyway. Yep, I'm just going to straight up delay A. We're going to save the shock until... Um, I was going to say we're going to save the shock until we have EX, but that kind of didn't really work, did it? Um, this is fine, this is fine. This should still do enough damage, because, yeah, burst effect things. Let's get this uh, bad boy pushed back even further. Right, okay, so I think it's basically one at this point. Like, it's not the, the most efficient turn count, and we did take a death, but we should still be basically within parameters to get the full, uh, the full completion rewards. Um, pretty much, I'm going to say that for this, you definitely want Lightning's Burst if you want to complete this without having Reno um, or Camelot because without them it is just, um, it's very painful, I'm not going to lie, it is, it is excruciating. And I am going to use the, uh, the LD before my burst effect runs out, just for doing enough damage. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's just bully it into submission. And there we go, it is over. Disgusting, disgusting event. I can't wait for the Sephiroth Heretics, they're going to be awesome. Well, anyway, that is going to be my completion run of the challenge quest um, for Reno's um, character event. And uh, that's me using no Reno, but I did use Lightning's Burst. So, I mean, possibly there are more skilled players than myself out there that can manage to do it without using Lightning Burst and without using Reno. Um, in which case, you know, I take my heart off to you people, you people are insane. Um, I've tried to do the regular Lufenia without using Lightning and it is surprisingly difficult and you end up having to use Reno and like Gladio and, and, all, and Raijin and all these kinds of people. Um, yeah, they, they definitely um, pulled out all the stops on this one. Like, my own Luffy one... One? My own Luffy run went pretty um, pretty smoothly because I was using Lightning and it's it's very clear to me just how insane she is after after this event. The kind of bullying and turn control she does is just, well, it speaks for itself. And the burst effect is also incredibly powerful. So that's going to be my completion run. I hope at least some of you out there found it useful. Um, and until the next video, I will say take care and goodbye.